What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. I hope you are all doing great and welcome back to this new episode. First of all, I'm really sorry for my voice. I'm having uh, some tonsils there. So here in this video, as you all know, I'm going to review uh, Dolce Gabbana the one uh, with the Parfum version. So nothing new here. It's not a new scent and there are, I can say like millions, trillions of reviews already available on the YouTube. So why I'm reviewing it? I'm reviewing it because I love this fragrance and I want to review it. That's it. Uh, I know uh, I'm not going to tell you anything new here, but still I just want to review it because this fragrance is one of my the most favorite fragrances. I have five words to explain the feel of this perfume. This is a modern it's sexy, it's romantic, it's decent, and it's a magical kind of perfume. It's beautiful. This perfume is very similar to its EDT version, uh, which once again, I, I, I love that one too, but I love this Eau de Parfum more than the uh, original one because uh, this is a little bit more complex, more deep, more stronger version of the of the original one. So here, let's start our review. And as always, we'll start with the presentation first, and then I will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells. So here, this perfume comes in this beautiful black box. It's a simple, glossy black box with nothing on the sides. On the top, you will get DG, the logo initials. In the base, you'll get your barcode. And in the front, the name of the perfume, that's it. And your batch code is going here somewhere. I don't know, yeah, here. It's engraved here in the bottom and then some ingredient details in the back. This is box, very simple, nothing fancy. And now the bottle. Bottle is simple, but simple, classy. You know, you can, you can get this perfume in this beautiful bottle. See the shape, it's very simple. This is something, wow, I just love this fragrance. The ultimate date scent. You know, if, if, if you are very young and you are going on a date, one of the best. I know there is a Durom Intense. That's once again an amazing scent for dates. There is, uh, there are a few more, but this is one of them. You know, a beautiful scent. All of my favorite notes are here in this one perfume. You know, but let's talk about the notes now. Let me give you the notes breakdown first, and then I will try to explain you that how it it actually smells. So here in the notes breakdown, you'll get a grapefruit, coriander, and basil in the top. In the middle, you'll get ginger, cardamom, and orange blossom. In the base, you will get amber, tobacco, and cedar. So my favorite notes, grapefruit. My another most favorite note, cardamom. And then tobacco. Just wow, gorgeous. So this is a note pick done, and now I will try to tell you that how this fragrance actually smells. So in the opening, you will get a very beautiful, strong note of grapefruit, citrus, but citrus is here. They are sweet. They are a little bit juicy kind of citruses. They are not sharp, they are not sour, but they are very sweet and smooth. And then with this uh, juicy, sweet grapefruit, you will get some spices. And in spices, you know very well what it's going to be. Yes, you're right, it's cardamom. And with cardamom, you will get a very beautiful note of coriander here. So it's a blend of coriander and cardamom. And then you will find Tobacco undertones. Tobacco is there, but it's in the back and it gives you, it's, it's not that strong kind of tobacco which you will get in a tobacco mystery or which you will get in tobacco vini from the other Tom Ford. No, this tobacco is more sophisticated, it's light, it's more wearable and it it's a note of tobacco uh, which is a crowd pleaser kind of tobacco. It's not very strong and, and a very how I can tell you, very bitter kind of tobacco. No, it's very sweet, very light and in the base. So it's a beautiful concoction here. And then with all these things, you will also get a touch of herbals here, you know, and that's coming from basil. It's not very prominent, but once you start wearing this perfume, so in your fifth or sixth wearing, you will start getting that beautiful note of basil, but it's very light on the top, just providing this perfume, that herbal touch. Mainly this perfume is all about uh, juicy grapefruit, cardamom, coriander, tobacco, and some nuances of amber here. This is it. Simple and beautiful and classy. 
This is not a very dynamic kind of scent. So there are not many phases in this perfume. And the transitions or the journey from the first phase to the last phase of this perfume is very fast, which is around in one hour. In, in one hour, you will reach to a phase which is going to stay with you uh, for the rest uh, of the journey. So uh, it's, you can say a linear kind of scent, but the beauty here is the composition and you will never get bored of it. I was using this perfume in this week. I have used this perfume for continuous four days and with every wearing, I was loving it more and more. This, this is uh, something which is going to last for a very long time. People are going to love it for a very long time. This perfume was launched in 2015 and it's 2022 now, almost seven years. Still, people are loving it. And I have this perfume with me for over like uh, one and a half years now, or maybe two years now. And I always love, whenever I wear it, I, I always love and appreciate this fragrance. Very nice and beautiful scent. So this was about the fragrance. Very citrusy, sweet, tobacco-ish and uh, a spicy kind of opening. And then very sweet, ambery and woody kind of dry down. This is the whole journey of this perfume, but it's a class in itself. This was about the fragrance. And now we will talk about the other aspects of this beautiful perfume. So let's start with the performance first. So this perfume, According to me, as per my experience, is very good. It's a very good performer. I have seen a lot of people uh, complaining about uh, the performance of this perfume uh, on the page of Fragrantica. But trust me, guys, in my last wearings, this perfume uh, gave me a longevity of 8 to 10 hours easily. And even on the next day, I was able to, uh, to get that beautiful whiffs of this perfume. So longevity was fine. And... Uh, Projection was for around like one to one and a half hours, which is okay. Actually, uh, people need to understand that not every scent can be a beast kind of scent. <clears throat> Sorry. And this is a fragrance which is meant to be, which is made to be light and soft. And it's, it's meant to be a uh, stay near to you. This perfume is for, for close encounters, for uh, that special kind of moments for some intimacy, you know. So this kind of scent is, is not not need to be uh, a beast or loud. So maybe that's the issue with people. But for me, performance is all good. I am very happy. It's a very long lasting scent. If it gives you like eight hours, it's good. And you can always refresh after every three to four hours. This perfume is, is made to be performed in that way which is very fine, which is very good. An amazing office scent, by the way. Not offensive, crowd pleaser. Everyone around you is going to love it. So uh, this is about the performance. I have no issue at all. Yes, it's not beast. It's not a crazily uh, long lasting scent, uh, but it's fine with me. And now let's come to gender. Pure masculine scent. Ladies, please don't use it. Okay, this is something which will work very well with men. For the age group, little bit mature people. You should be like 20, 21 years old. Even if you are like 18, 17, 80 to 18 years old, you're gonna still uh, try this perfume out. But if you are like around 20, 22, whoa, it's going to rock on you. And this can be your signature scent for a very long time, for years. And now let's come to uh, weather or season. All year round scent. You can use this perfume all year round anytime, anywhere. And now for the occasion. So as I told you earlier, this is a classic, decent, sexy, sophisticated type of scent. Use it in that kind of scenarios. Offices, your signature scent, especially dates, you know, for some special, intimate kind of moments. Uh, or if you're going to meet someone very special for some very uh, good meetings where you want to Tell people how sophisticated and decent you are, you know. Uh, a scent of intimacy, I can say. So this is about the occasion. And now let's come to the price. So as I've told you earlier that this is a 150 ml bottle here with me. And the price of this perfume nowadays in gray market is around 243 UAE dirhams, which is nothing for this, for this kind of scent. 
this perfume is still available on Samawa Digital on uh, French fragrance, and the price is almost same everywhere from 238 to 43 something uh, like that. And for that price point, this is a stealer. You must have this in your collection. I don't know the price of 100 ml bottle or 50 ml bottle, but I think uh, the best value deal is this 150 ml bottle. This is uh, going to save you some money. So this was about the price and this was my review about Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I love this perfume. If you haven't tried it yet, do it with a try and I can guarantee you, you are going to really love it. So uh, this was my review about uh, Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I hope you liked it and until the next video, take care and bye.